look at the ship, said Sophie to her sister Sarah. What color is the water below? asked Sarah. Blue, Sophie replied. No, let me look. Sarah appeared to look at the water. Feather Leaps is full of trash, said Sarah. Sophie gazed at the water. Look, there is a turtle stuck in a bag. Sarah noticed a net. She rushed over to get it. She scooped up the bag. When it was on their palms, the turtle climbed up. Don't be scared, says Sophie. She led the turtle to the clean water. It swam away. Later, the girls went to a store and saw a pole. We can make a long net with that. Sarah's eyes glistened. I have an idea, said Sarah. She got the pole, tape, and the net. She connected them, and voila, a long net was invented. We call it the net of trash. We can save animals by scooping up the trash. Sophie pumped her fist. The next morning, Sarah was studying their invention. I found out that trash is called pollution. It harms the world. We need to find a way to stop people from polluting, exclaimed Sarah. Together they pondered. Suddenly, Sophie jumped up. We can make a website, she cried. Three hours later, the website was activated. I'm sure it has to help people understand pollution. And it did. The next day, Sophie ran into Sarah's room. It went viral, she yelled. What? Sophie yawned. We're famous. Thousands, no millions, saw our website. They all want to help. Suddenly, Sarah was not yawning. Oh boy, we better make a date so people can help us, she squealed. The date of the cleanup, the girls were surprised to see that people were already cleaning up the beach. In three hours, the ocean was spotless. Sarah was set up a record, Sophie cheered. The ocean is spotless, I see a starfish, said Sarah. They continued to gaze over at the ocean. The girls were overjoyed with their marvelous work to save the earth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're good.